Time for a walk. <laughs> yeah. Grab my hat. The mangoes. And the little ones now, but they'll get a little bigger. These are all mango trees. Look at the mangoes. Tons of mangoes. You can even eat the uh, eat these now. A little sour, but uh, pretty soon I'll have every Thai in the neighborhood coming here picking these. <laughs> They smell like mangoes though, totally. Alright, <clears throat> starting my walk here. This is something of interest. So you see a lot of these coconuts with holes in them like this. 
That's the squirrels getting into them and uh, yeah, they get inside and eat, eat, eat all the coconut. See that a lot. There's another one here. So they're all, all over the place. Continue on. Maybe we'll see some beautiful big golden orbs, spiders. But I think I know where there's one. Yeah, keep going. These GoPros really get hot. I feel the battery just. It's getting almost uh, a little uncomfortable to the touch. Why do they get so hot? Now I'm walking this today, uh, but I do a, a 5K jog as well. And I cycle, of course, which I love. But uh, this will. As you see, take us to the ocean. Take me to the ocean. And when it uh, really rains hard here, all this area will be flooded. So it's quite a slog when you're trying to do your walk through two feet of water. <laughs> I'd say the temperature is around 80, 86, 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That beautiful, magnificent tree. Look at that. Wow. Big one. That bird you can hear there is a jungle crow. They're uh, brown feathers with Black and brown, with red eyes. Look at the size of that, beautiful. Quite a few of them around here. I hate it when they chop them down though. They take hundreds of years to grow. This here's a rubber. Rubber plantation, rubber trees. There's the actual latex, comes off. Goes into the pot and then they just make a cut, a cut like this here. Every 
I usually do it in the morning, early, 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 or at night when it's cool. And they'll go up and down the tree. I think they'll get about eight years. I think they can tap them for about eight years and they chop them down, replant them, start all over again. They've been doing that for quite a long time, hundreds of years, not. Huh? Banana plantation I always walk through. Some uh, pineapple. Now there was a big golden orb here somewhere. Oh, damn. Oh, well, a black one actually. Let's continue my daily medicinal. These are part of the heart of the banana. They, they grow on the end of the banana stalk, as you see there, like a red bulb. And you can eat those, they're a delicacy. They've been taken already I guess it's the flower of the of the banana stalk that's how it pollinates the banana yeah they've all been cut bananas and uh, you know if you're walking through these you never don't touch the bananas, don't touch the fruit or anything. It's uh, paramount to stealing, so treat everything with respect. Somebody owns it. Now, if you're starving, <laughs> one or two won't be a hindrance. Some more uh, pineapple. And they're uh, flowering too as well. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that, eh? Ah, sharp. Whoa. Here's a, here's, here's a bowl that's quite full. This is all rubber. I can see how it gets really, really thick. And there's the rubber again. You can see how it, see? Ooh, drip down, make the cut. It's like sap. These trees are a little over eight years old. I think when I first came here, I moved into the place where I'm at now about over 10 years ago. Um, this was all, they, they were just cutting these down and they replanted them. Little saplings. And they grew to this size. Look at that little lean they all take. <laughs> all fours gets this lean to it. And sometimes they don't use the bowls, they'll use the bags. Get more. Look at that. Oh, don't want to take that out. Yeah. Rubber. It's 
a lot of uh, it's like every one of these lines represents a a day slicing these they'll do that in the morning early 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 in the morning or at night so it's the rubber planters live usually on the site or the rubber tappers I mean sorry Yeah. All part of the walk. That's a golden orb. There she is. Look how big she is. <laughs> there she goes. And in comparison size. I'm told this bite's comparable to a bee sting, but I don't want to try that out. What a beauty, though. But look at that, there's uh, her food. Or him. I don't know what that identifies as. But, uh, give you the size of the net. Look at that. It's got to attach the lines here, here, up here, way over there. I mean, it's a huge, huge, huge uh, uh, web. There's another one over here somewhere. Oh well, guess not. Beautiful. I wasn't seeing them for a while. I wasn't seeing them for a while and then uh, they've which makes me think they might be cyclic. Because uh, on my jogging, uh, morning jogs, I would, they just seem to disappear. This is a rubber, uh, this is a, a rubber, little rubber factory where they, uh, they get the sheets. All those little buckets of rubber that I showed you, they'll bound those into a sheet and then they'll, Ring them through these machines here, and they add uh, they add some leeches to it, some other stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll show you over here. The bougainvillea there, beautiful. Like purple. It's like the one growing outside the house I rent. There's the sheets you can see drying on the racks there. And they discolor. They'll go brown. Beautiful. I've always loved this area. Tongfoot. Beautiful. Wide open spaces, undeveloped for now.
I've watched his buffalo herd grow uh, from, I believe, two. Now he's got uh, 40, 50. He's got a big buffalo herd, and I wouldn't recommend roller skating in it. That's beautiful, eh? There's, there's some of it. Beefalo! 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 <laughs> Look at the youngins. Beefalo! I don't know, for some reason they always come running when I say beefalo. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Pretty ass. Part of my daily walk takes me through the ocean. Yeah. I'll go from this point, point over there. Take me through these mango trees. A tree out in the ocean here. Little town of Tom Crute over there. Tom Crute. Now, unfortunately, I have to be careful with this camera because this is a GoPro I repaired from uh, four other ones, I believe. I was given four GoPro cameras that were all broken and I made one that worked out of all of them. But this one is not waterproof. I drop it, it's game over. But I do have a plastic bag to put it in. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. A lot of rocks in the bottom here. Yeah. Get out a bit more here. It's not so rocky on the bottom here. Yeah. Oh. That over there is Cotan. It's where all those big fruit bats, fox bats come uh, come from. Fly to Samoa at night, eat the durians and other fruits. And that's mud some over there. There's a latest one they're calling it Pig Island because it's got piggies on it. All right. All right, well, I think I'm gonna put this camera in the bag, sap it up. Put you down there for a sec. Okay, and I'll walk over to that point and continue walking. And this is my favorite tree in all of Samui. Just love this tree. It's beautiful with those thick branches. Another rubber tree plantation. Up near the temple. 
Well, you can never be too young <clears throat> to jump in a puddle. <laughs> puddle jumping. It's fun. At any age. Yeah. Never too far to rear its ugly head, isn't it? Yeah, why? 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 Convenience? This is all building material. And some housing material. A couch. Fridge. Yep, just buried in the big hole and no one will know, right? Clothes and obviously someone's household, whatever. And the kid's shoe. Yep. Out of sight, out of mind. There's a fridge there. Ironing board. Yep. It's the part they don't show you on the brochures, huh? This here is a freshwater fish. Could be panagas or could be like panagas, but uh, or tilapia. I don't think tilapia though. This is full of fish. And it's girded. There's a worker's camp here. Tucked away. Tucked away. They've been there for quite a long time too, I might add. As long as I've been walking this, or running this trail. Are we making some offerings? So this is my temple I consider. Right near my place. Well, because of the restrictions for the last couple of years, there's been no big carnival. They usually set up a big carnival here. It goes right to the end of this road. Right around, quite a lot of people, and it develops money for the temple and for the locals. None of that. Boat temple. And a huge boat temple up there. Komud Sum out there. I usually come here 
Well, every day right now, because I'm reading a book called The Forgotten Soldier. by Guy Saver about the uh, war on the uh, Russian front with the Germans. It's quite a very interesting read, actually. He was only 17 at the time. 17. Going through what he did. It's amazing. But anyway, I come here, either one of these two, I can't think of a better place to read a book. Beautiful. All right, so let's hope I don't drop the camera in the ocean. Yeah. Beautiful. Ah. Biggie waves. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, oh. Hey, just continue all the way down here. Sometimes I'll swim in the rock out there all the way, even across the point to where that sandbar way out over there is. It's a nice, nice little swim. We got a reef that runs, you can just make the top of it over there, but it runs the whole beach way over there too. When you're on the other side of that, then you get into the ocean, the deep ocean. A couple of years ago, we had either leatherback, leatherback turtles, I believe, that she laid in a big, big nest here, and they, they blocked it all off. That was amazing. And we had a, there was another one down over here too. So we had two, two nesting turtles on this beach, because it was so quiet. All it took was one year, all it took was one year. Amazing. Well, I can't say I found anything cuter wash up on the beach. <laughs> Someone must have floated that. Put it up here and come by and get it later, I guess. Hello, kitty. <laughs> Lots of garbage float up on the beach this time of year, especially from over here. All washes, a lot of it washes up from Vietnam. I wouldn't be surprised if we. <laughs> I don't recognize the writing. Huh. Saying a, I don't recognize that. It's Chinese. Korean, I don't know. It's strange. I think that's Indonesian. Well, like I say, it, it comes from all over. They just dump it and it ends up here.
Yeah. Just more fishing nets. And the beach is just some of these nets are quite huge. Buried. And they'll all get buried in the dirt and the sand the beach. If you were to dig up this beach, I wonder what 20 feet below, you know. Just on this time of year, it's always the case. The whole coast. Coco Beach. Coco Beach, far away in time. Coco Beach, far away in time. It's Coco Beach. Still part of the Grand Wack. The home stretch now. Beautiful. There's another place I never made it. <laughs> had a pool there and everything. The pool is in there now. It's just a big grass lawn. Lamsor Modern House. I don't think it ever did that well. well they're just cleaning out there. Mom and pop shop. Oh, I see they finally took the transformer. Oh, there was a transformer up here, and it must have blew about six times while I've lived here. I think the other place was that big one. Well, they cleaned it up. I wonder if they're going to build. It's usually a sign. Fire pit. <laughs> My bougainvillea is Planted those for my mom. Planted this. All these part of my garden. Planted this. 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 All these. My chili peppers. Taking their time to grow. And beans. And of course, my nice and tall. <laughs> These are uh, some ribbons from my when I do my trips. Put them in the branches, and they'll be up there forever. Exactly an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> 